Welcome back to Stony Creek Spark Chaser. I got another great video for you today. It's going to be a quick one. Now, in my previous video, I went over the Napoleon High Country 5000 fireplace operation. But in that video, I mentioned that I added a fan unit to the fireplace. This does not come with an electric blower unit. The Napoleon 6000 does. So if you have a fireplace that you want to add a fan or a blower unit to, this, what I'm about to tell you, might solve your issue. Now, Robert from YouTube reached out to me a couple days ago and he had some questions that he wanted me to answer. So instead of writing back a long message, I'm just gonna do a video to maybe help out the next guy that wants to do this with their fireplace enclosure. Now, just a few things. I'm not paid by this company. I have never spoken to them. Um, I did some research at the time because I knew the type of setup that I wanted to. And this was one of the only companies I could find that provided that product for my use. This product is more designed for like home audio cabinets where it gets hot inside the enclosure and it blows the hot air out. Well, it's basically the same thing for my enclosure, but I want the hot air to go out into the space just to help heat up the room a little bit more and not waste that energy. So yeah, uh, sit back, relax, enjoy this video. If you have any comments about it, just leave them um, at the end of the video. I'll answer them as fast as I possibly can, but let's get into it. Okay, so let's go over the components of this system real quick. Everything is bought from Amazon. So this company is called AC Infinity, and this is their AirPlate S2. So it's a USB powered fan. It blows out at 35 cubic feet per minute, and it's a six inch fan. And the fan is actually mounted like this, so it brings air up this way and then blows it out this way. What's cool about these fans is that you can upgrade them where you can have three, up to three daisy chained together. So if you wanted to get more airflow out of your enclosure, you can go ahead and do that. Now for temperature, right now I'm blowing about 100 degree air out of my enclosure. So I know it's at least 100 degrees inside of here. I've had this baby cranking I know it was a lot hotter than 100 degrees and the fan worked fine, no issues. So let's get into the controller now and then we'll get into some more of the setup. Okay, the second component behind my TV is the controller and this is um, where a temperature probe is attached to it. Um, as you can see, this is the USB from the outlet to power everything. This cable here is the probe. And then this USB goes from the controller to the fan. Now between the fan, there is one more switch. It's an off, low fan speed, medium fan speed, or high fan speed. I have mine set at high fan speed, and this is all automatic. I never have to touch it. It comes on and off um, at whatever temperature I selected, which for me, it's at uh, 84 degrees, but you can also do 88, 92, or 96. So now let's get into the diagram real quick uh, to make it look a little easier of how it's all wired in there. Now, as for a drawing of the system setup, it's pretty simple. Here's your outlet, uh, USB uh, to your controller. That's behind my television. And then it has that probe for temperature sensing. And then between the controller and the fan is the speed switch that just has off, low, medium, or high. So that's really it. So if you wanted to add one more fan, you could add a fan up here and then just take a USB from here to that fan. And if you want a third fan, just go USB from that fan to that fan. Super simple. Well, that pretty much wraps it up. Like I said, it's gonna be a pretty quick video. Um, I'll add some pictures at the end of the video to show you the components from Amazon's website in a little bit better uh, detail. But I want to go over real quick. Um, again, it was all bought off of Amazon by a company called AC Infinity. Uh, the controller, which is behind my TV, was 17 bucks. The AirPlate S2 was $30, so that's the fan. And then I did buy a white griddle for it to match my wall color for $11. So everything was under 60 bucks. So it's pretty cheap, it won't break the bank. You could add two more fans if you wanted to. Um, they do have other options with fans, but this is uh, the slimmest fan version that they have. I don't want to see this big, huge fan on my enclosure. So this is pretty minimal, uh, you know, with that type of look. But yeah, uh, great price. 
For fire rating, um, I don't know of any fire rating or heat rating on these fans. I've had mine for about a year and a half now and there's been absolutely no issues whatsoever. It does get hot back inside of the enclosure. I would say about 115, 120 degrees once you get this thing cranking for a few hours, but nothing to concern you about any type of um, fire risk. Um, just don't have your wires like laying on top of your fireplace or don't have them touching your duct. So I guess that pretty much sums everything up. Uh, Robert, thanks again for the inspiration for this video. If you didn't ask me that question, I would have never have thought of even to do a video about this um, blower or fan attachment you can put on a fireplace. So I do thank you. Good luck with your fireplace installation. And if anyone else has any other questions, just uh, please, please feel free to let me know. Um, also, a free way to, uh, to um, help my channel out is just to like the video and then subscribe if you want. But uh, until the next video, I hope you all have a safe holiday and uh, take it easy.